All right, welcome to another session with Typo3. Today we're going to be looking at the process behind assigning media categories to photos or images in order to create photo galleries with the photo gallery plugin. And uh, but this uh, process also is applicable to plugins like SEO Photo Gallery or Image Cycle, which also use media categories to create slideshows or photo galleries. But today we'll be looking mainly at the photo gallery plugin. Um, also known as uh, CE underscore gallery as an extension fi um, file. Uh, so there's a couple things we'll be doing. We'll be adding a new category and um, creating a new folder, uploading our photos, assigning the categories or the, to the photos as a batch process using indexing. Then we're going to just do a quick editing of some titles and then we're going to add the new gallery to the plugin. Um, just to start we should have a quick look at the existing page with the photo gallery where we're going to see the new one added. Okay so here you can see the page with um, some photo galleries already added to it and so when you click on an image here we're going to load our gallery of images. Okay so here's our list of images and then of course this uses the light box feature when you click on the image it loads a larger view of the image in the light box and then you click the close and exit. So we're back to our gallery list. So this is the the goal today will be to add a new gallery of photos to this current uh, photo gallery page. Alright so let's switch back to our typo 3 and let's log in and get started. Alright so if you haven't already done so you want to log in username and password and again um, if you're not sure how to do that You'll, I've got another video in the in my um, playlist here um, for how to log in, where it is, but it's using your site URL forward slash typo3, and that'll bring up your login page. That's not logged in. Okay, so in our back end here, we need to work with our media folder here. So we want to add a new category, and the, the photos that we're going to upload today are some pictures of my daughter at the beach, so I'm going to create a new category called at the beach, which is going to be the gallery, and the category name is the photo gallery name that we use as well. So to do that, we want to use our start on our left to right workflow, Let's take our list view, I'm going to click on our media folder, and here what you're looking for is the media category table. If this is the first time you've created a category, a media category, you won't find the media category table, so you'll need to use the create new record feature. So we'll do that in this demonstration. And when you create new record, you're going to look to scroll down in your list of records you can create until you find the media uh, digital asset management, and then you're going to find media category and click on that. Now there's a lot of extra fields here we just need to use the title field at this point. We can add a description if you want, but that would be the extent of what you would need to do at this point in order to create this new category. So if you need to, and then we're just going to save and close this. Now we're going to see in our media category table a new one called at the beach. Now that this is done, we need to do the next step which is to upload the photos to our server. We do that using the file administration over on the left under media and then we need to create a new folder. So we're going to click on photos and then at the top here we're going to click create new folder. And it's going to be beach photos spelling correctly. I'm going to save that. That's going to add our new folder. We'll click on Beach Photos to open it up. As you can see, there's nothing in this now because it's brand new. We'll go up and click on our Upload button. This is using the Flash Uploader right now. Your site might be configured to use the standard uploader. That's whichever way you upload your files, that's fine. Um, I've already uh, got this, but we're going to go to Desktop. I've got a folder here with some photos. I'm just going to select all of these and click open. 
and then as you can see here it's going to start uploading our images. After this is complete the next step is going to be to bat assign the category to all our images in one step and what we can do here actually I'll show you if you can do it manually one at a time by clicking the pencil icon and then we scroll down in our form here and at the bottom we have our categories and I can just click at the beach and then I can save and close so what's that done what's that has done is assigned the at the beach category to this first photo now in order to do this you are doing more than just four or five photos which is um, more likely you will want to use the indexing uh, feature and then you want to click on next you want to select re-indexing we're going to go next and then this is where you can assign to all the images in the folder specific information um, what we may may mostly want to do at this point is add the category at the beach to the and we want to make sure we check this box because that will make sure that we set that field is fixed and this just tells us what's going to be changing we're going to be re-indexing and adding this category at the back and then we're going to hit start and then you'll see a list of all the files that it's attached that to we're going to go back up to our list so now if we click on our last photo which we didn't edit before and we scroll down you'll find that it has already selected the at the beach category the next step that we're going to do is actually edit our titles and then save and close because the titles do get displayed in the photo gallery so we'll just go backwards up through our list here the only thing you'll notice is that the title by default is the file name and that is separate from so title is actually when we change the title we're actually not changing the file name we're just changing the title assigned to the image so we're just creating some quick titles here for the photos you have a lot of photos um, you may want to use the indexing feature to just assign them all a, a generic title okay I think that was all of them oh, last one here Okay. All right, so we have all of our photos with new titles and they've all been assigned to the beach category. The next thing that we need to do is to actually go and add the category to the photo gallery plugin so it knows to display it. And we do that through using the page module. So we're going to click on page. And then we're going to click on our media page, which is where our photo gallery plugin has been added okay and then we're going to edit our plugin okay so we want to edit our photo gallery we want to add our new category so we load up the form we click on our plugin tab and we want to go across to our categories tab we're going to add at the beach clicking on it and then we have the option to organize our galleries as well okay I think that's all we need to do we want to save and close
right, so that should be it. We've now, when we come back over to our web page, we refresh that page, and there's our at the beach photo gallery. We're going to click on that, and here's our photos. We'll just click next. There we go. So that's how it's done. And you can repeat that as many times as you need to for galleries, as many photo galleries as you need. Hope this was helpful and useful. And of course, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me through YouTube. I believe my email should be in the details for the uh, playlist or for the upload. All right. See you next time.